set here. And in today's video, I am going to be attempting, keyword attempting, to successfully do my own knotless box braids. So currently, as you can see, the hair is blow dried. It's not blow dried perfectly because I don't really need to like make it bone straight for this. I have all my supplies in front of me. I'm super excited. I have been wanting to do this for the longest time, but I've been putting it off because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I did a little bit of research. I'm gonna link the videos down below. Did a little bit of learning. And I am hopeful and optimistic that this won't be a total fail. I wanna show you guys my inspo. I'm not trying to do the teeny tiny box braids that are like, the parts are like super small. That's just not gonna happen. This is kind of like my inspo. More of like that jumbo medium. Typically, when I get my hair done, there's a lot of issues, the scalp be on fire. And so I'm hoping that me doing them myself and doing them knotless, I can have a lot more control over that and really prevent like any sort of irritation. That's the plan. I also haven't had my hair blow dried like this in literally over a year. I know the ends kind of look like a Brillo pad, but just ignore that. And you can really see my growth with my roots which is just so crazy to me. But I don't really know how this is gonna turn out. I'm really hoping that this turns out well because I would really love to keep these in for a minute. I'm really just sick of my natural hair. I'm just bored and I'm tired of doing it. We're gonna see how this goes. I got this braiding hair to try to match my hair. I have my rat tail comb, my edge control, and some clips and some hair ties, and of course, my mirror. The main thing that I learned is that the parting is really, 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 really important. So I wanna take my time with this, and that's also why I blow dried, because I wanted to make it easier. I know the back is gonna be like super hard to do. I'm gonna map out all the parts first, and then I can actually start on the braids. So the parting's not gonna be perfect, but I feel like this for the back looks pretty nice. I'm gonna just secure it with a rubber band just for now. This part here is equivalent to the one over here. Honestly, that might be the best that this parting gets right now because it's just really hard to see in the back. The way it's looking, I feel like I need to start the bottom with three instead of two. Okay, so we got the bottom three down, and so that means I'm gonna redo my next section. <sighs> okay, so now for the top which I'm hoping the parting will be a little bit easier since now I kind of have a guide as to where I'm gonna be. So this is what we are working with here. Very crazy. But as you can see, I have all my parts. So I took a little bit of an intermission just so that I can do a little bit of practicing and kind of get them started because your girl was struggling on getting the technique down. But this is what I have so far. And so far I'm really liking it. These braids are so freaking 
long. So I got my braiding hair. What I've learned is like it's 50% technique, but it's also 50% how much hair you add in. And if you add in too much or too little, then that can really like mess it up. Like some of them, you can see that like it starts out really skinny and then it's kind of goes thick and it's because I didn't like feed it in the right way, but we're just gonna like ignore that. I'm gonna start working on the back because I feel like I just need to get the back done. So for the back, what I've been doing is like purposefully leaving out my baby hairs just because I know that this is always a problem when I get my hair done professionally is like the baby hairs are always like really, really struggling. And so I don't even wanna go through that. So I successfully completed the back. I left my edges out just so there's no tension. And they're a little bit tiny because the hair back there is thinner. And so this one was like my first one and it's kind of like wonky, so we're gonna ignore that one. So I'm gonna do this piece next, which is probably one of the main ones. And I'm really gonna try to like make this one good because it's gonna cover some of the bottom ones. I'm gonna feel the thickness of each piece. It's about this thick. I'm gonna take about the same thickness for my first piece and just lay it out. And then I'm gonna do a little bit thicker for my next. For my last piece, I'm probably gonna do like the same thickness because I don't want it to be too thick. First, I'm gonna take my edge control on my finger. Brush it all in. Make sure everything's looking smooth. I'm gonna get my sections and I'm gonna do an underhand braid. So typically I'm going over, but for this I'm gonna go under. And then what I'm gonna do is take my first piece, which is already pre-sized, I'm going to connect this to the middle section. And then when this piece above it, I'm just gonna like kind of wrap this around my hair just so that it's not in the way. And so the next piece that needs to cross, I'm just gonna go under one. And then I'm gonna go under two. And I'm gonna go under three and then with this piece I'm gonna bring it and connect it with that left piece and go under four and then under five and that right there connected the braid okay this piece doesn't have any hair and it's starting to get kind of small so I'm gonna take my next piece, connect it there, get this on top just to get it out of the way. Go under one, under two, and go under three. And then with the piece, I'm gonna bring it down to the other side. Whatever piece is crossing, and then you wanna connect it in. It depends on which piece is actually crossing over and that's the piece that you wanna add it into because then that kind of locks it in. And then I'm just pulling the hair to get the ends. They are very, 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 very long. And so I'm gonna braid it down as much as possible until it's like getting too tiny. And so this one's a little bit more chunky, which was what I was going for. And so if you see in the back, this braid here is what I just did. And it kind of just like fills in that gap there really nicely. And you can see since there's more braids on this side, it looks fuller. It's like the perfect amount of fullness. Like it's not too thin and it's not too heavy looking. I feel like it looks pretty 
decently full. Like I don't need my hair to be looking like extra thick. You know what I mean? this blonde that's kind of sticking out what I like to do is just literally take the brown that's in the section and just kind of bring it up to the surface and twist it you can see right here there's like a lot of blonde I might take a little bit of edge control too just to kind of tame the flyaways and just twist that and see how it just disappears and so this is just like a really easy way to kind of cover that up. And of course, if you know how to tuck and do it the right way, then you don't have to do this. But this is what I like to do because it works. really trying to get the front and I'm really concentrating because I really really want to make the front look the nicest that it can like I find that like when I talk it makes it harder Like this was my best one i feel like this was my best one i have successfully completed half my head and so actually a little bit more because i did the back some of these bottom ones but i have one two three four five six seven eight i have eight left so now I'm just gonna do the rest of my hair, put on some music and get this done because I'm tired and I just wanna be finished. almost cried. Okay, I'm gonna start pretty early adding in my hair because I'm noticing the other side looks thicker than this side. So it may not match perfectly 
And that's all right. One, two, three. I'm gonna grab this piece to connect it. Four. I'm so close to the end and I'm just like numb right now. Completely numb. Newfound respect 100% for braiders, for hairstylists. Like it doesn't even seem real right now that I'm actually finished. So this is what the braids are looking like all the way down to the hip. And this is what the back looks like. And the sides, you can kind of see like where I messed up on like some of the parts here. But, um, you know, overall, I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I don't know how long they're gonna last since the way that I kind of did them, but I feel like it should last me at least a week. Would I ever do this again? I don't know. It just, it took so much time and I really do miss getting my hair done professionally. But at the same time, I have zero irritation. My scalp feels like, Amazing. Usually the braids are super, super, super heavy and they just hurt my scalp, but these, I just feel like, these are chill, they're cute, you know, they're not perfect, but I wasn't going for perfect. I just have to play with it and especially if I had on my glam, that would be like the full transformation, but I'm just too tired. I do not have the energy to do my makeup right now. So if you think that I did a good job for my first ever time doing my own knotless box braids, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And while you're at it, you might as well just subscribe, stay up to date with me with all my newest uploads, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.